This is the very first time that I got to talk about that. There's this crushing feeling on my chest. You're gonna be okay. Where's Georgia? Hoy, bakex, kamusta ka na? You are one of the few things worth remembering. Pwede na daw yun, baka makatulog yung mga nanonood. <laughs> Hi, I'm Camille with Gia, and you are watching G-Talk. She's an award-winning actress, host, and TV director and producer. At three years old, she made her screen debut in the movie God's Little Children. She is now officially a Capiamelia after being a Capusa talent for 25 years. Please welcome the beautiful Sunshine Dizon. Woo! Hi! Hi. Hello! Hi. Hi, Gia and Camille. Thank you for having me. We're so happy to have you here with us today, Sunshine. I'm, I'm really glad uh, to join you. Uh, and hello to everyone who's streaming uh, G-Talk right now. Okay, well, we can't wait to get to know another side of you, Sunshine. So we would like to play, if it's okay with you, a little game called G-Talk's Two Minute Fast Talk. Sure, go ahead. Okay, so in this game, we mention words or phrases, and you respond with a first thought that comes to mind. Yep, okay. 26 questions. A to Z, and to keep it fast-paced, me and Gia, we are going to refrain from responding to your responses. <laughs> um, are you ready? Yes, yeah, sure, go ahead. Okay, we started letter A, assumptions about you. In Tagalog, uh, mataray. <laughs> the most beautiful celebrity. Gretchen Barreto. B, the last time you cried. Uh, just a few weeks ago. D, your famous movie or TV series line with acting, please. Oh my god, I can't remember. There's really a lot. Um, can I just pass? I'm sorry. <laughs> e, a nerve-wracking encounter. Uh, probably this pandemic when everything uh, was announced. Um, I remember I was driving and, um, and I heard it on the news. F, last time someone flirted with you. I don't recall. <laughs> G, thoughts on ghosting. I, I can't really say anything about it. I haven't experienced it. H, happiest childhood memory. Probably visiting my dad um, in, in the States for the very first time. I, women's intuition. Always right. J, something that makes you jump for joy. Good news, work. K, define karma. I think it's something that is meant to happen to you because of something that you also did. <laughs> L, crazy rich or deeply in love? Crazy rich at my age right now. <laughs> M, a celebrity you're mistaken for? Um, when I was younger, they would say um, Katya Santos. N, a childhood nickname you didn't like? Actually, none. O, a current obsession? K-drama. P, girl power. My sisters, my friends, Isa, Karel, Diana Zuviri. Q, one question you often ask yourself. Did I make the right choices today? R, tell us something random about yourself. A lot of people uh, assume that uh, they say that I'm yung mataray, but actually, in, if you if you get to know me, I'm a very funny person. S, go to shower song. Uh, I don't have one. If I could turn back time, I would probably finish college. You, the most unusual fan request. I, nothing that I can recall of. V, the yeah. most vain thing that v, you do. V, the most vain. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm very simple. W, you get weak in the knees when something happens to my children, like God forbid an accident or just anything with regards to my children. X, what is your X factor? I would like to believe that it's my my brains. <laughs> y, no to your 15 year old self. You're gonna be okay. Z, friend zone tips. Nothing comes to mind, I'm sorry. Well, that concludes the alphabet game. Was it nerve wracking for you? <laughs> Just a little, especially with regards to ghosting, friends, so because I haven't really experienced that in about dating because I haven't dated for the longest time because technically I'm still married. You know, sometimes yeah. when you're walking in a mall and you see your fans, 
what did he usually say? Because sometimes they relate to you as the character. Sometimes it's the character you're portraying in your your TV series. Actually, it, it really depends on what series I I would be making at, at that certain time. Because there was a time when I did um Bakekang, a show I did for GMA way way back, and I used to wear prosthetics for that. It garners different reactions. Like that time when I did Bakekang, it was like. Hoy Bakex, kamusta ka na? It, it was as if I was just their kapitbahay or their neighbor. When I did Ikaanim na Utos, everybody was like, um, where's Georgia? We hate her. <laughs> it, it really depends. It really depends on on um on on what I'm currently doing. I'm curious about um women's intuition. You said you're it's you're always right. Mm-hmm. You know, in my life, I've always gone along with my gut feel, and um, it's weird. You you just can't explain it. There are no exact words for it, but you'll realize after that it was right. That feeling was right, and I guess now that I am older and uh, you know sort of like read books on it mm-hmm. that's really a, a woman's power your intuition and you should listen to it how strong is that because some women probably I, I can say that. mine is quite strong <laughs> wow. mine is quite strong like if i ignore it i would sometimes dream about it i i acknowledged it as a gift already so i i really go with it I want to have that gift. How did you get it? <laughs> I don't know. You just have to trust your gut feel and, you know, center yourself and uh, believe your gut. But what happens to you when you feel that? Do you get, like, clammy hands? Do you get nervous? Do you, do you have, like, butterflies in your stomach? Most of the time, if it comes to, like, making a decision, it's gonna be, like, um, something that would cross my mind. And then they say that the first thing that comes uh, to your mind is always the right one. Mm-hmm. But we tend to disregard that and realize it after we should have gone along with that, right? Mm-hmm. So sometimes... It's just like a, a thought fl- flashing in my head, and then sometimes it's really this deep. I don't know how to explain it exactly, but sometimes I get that like there's this crushing feeling on my chest that I can't breathe, or it's yeah. like you're having an, an acidic attack. That's amazing. This is the very first time that I got to talk about that, but uh, sometimes it happens with my kids. I don't know. It's probably can say like it's like a premonition of sorts. Yeah. But you're not psychic, are you? No, no, I'm not. <laughs> not close. You dream about these things. Yeah. Or like maybe, Joseph in the Bible. Or maybe because I haven't really uh, tackled it in my head. So I get to dream about it after. So things like that. You must be very sensitive then. Uh, most likely. Or what do you call an empath? I, I don't know. And um, if it's about empaths or like going to a di- deeper level, like I, I I wouldn't want it because that would be scary if you could like see ghosts and stuff. Ooh, <laughs> I, yeah. I, I wouldn't like that. <laughs> okay, moving away from that, I'm getting slightly creeped out. Okay, you said your <laughs> happiest childhood memory was visiting your dad in the States. Can you tell us more about that? Uh, actually, my dad is in LA with my brother and my sister. I just remember that I was so excited. And I remember during the interview, uh, they asked me why I wanted to go to the States. And I said that I wanted to visit Disneyland. You know? yeah. and, yes, yes. And then um, I, I remember seeing my dad in the airport. And um, yeah, it was really fun. It was really fun. And did you get to go to Disneyland? Yes, of course, I did. Okay. I even celebrated my seventh birthday in Chuck E. Cheese. Oh. So that was also fun. It was also a blessing that my kids celebrated their first birthday with my father um, in, in LA. Both of them. You said you don't have a shower song. How do I say it? I don't really indulge. I just do the business and that's it. Uh, I, I do take quite some time inside the, the bath, but I, I don't really indulge. Like It would take time because I would do my regimen of the Korean scrub and stuff like that. But it's just business. <laughs> okay. There's no singing involved, Gia. No shower song. Okay, how about a go-to karaoke song? Oh yes, of course, a lot, a lot of old songs, like songs um, by Karen Carpenter. No, but what's your favorite song from Ka- Karen Carpenter? You, I'm not so good with remembering titles, actors, names, and stuff. I, I'm really bad with that. 
um, I I have a photographic memory with regards to like memorizing scripts, but right. numbers, addresses, people's name, and uh, I'm really bad. I'm sorry, but I could check online <laughs> for Karen Carpenter songs that I like. You are the one that makes me happy when everything else turns to gray. <laughs> Pwede, pwede na daw yun, baka makatulog yung mga nanonood. <laughs> They might fall asleep. <laughs> I'm curious because you said you have a photographic memory. What is it? You just look at the script once and then boom, you memorized everything. Actually, to be honest, when I was younger, yes. Just one glance, I would I would probably memorize. But since I got, uh, I have two kids already and all the anesthesia from <laughs> giving birth cesarean section, oh my God. Uh, it will probably take me two or three times uh, glancing and understanding it or reading it. And I would I would get it. Are you kidding me? Two or three times? Oh my God. That's still, <laughs> that's still an amazing skill. Does it come naturally to you? Um, I, I think it's 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 a gift. I, I, I've noticed it when I was young. During um, in school, there would be like uh, they call it a sabayang bigas or uh, a declamation contest in school, and it, it would be so easy for me to to read those long poems or things to memorize. But we do contrabida roles, right? So, um, was there ever a time that a fan tried to hit you? You know, sometimes fans do that because they're carried away by your acting. I never in person, but online, yes, I remember. But yeah, Yes, I've experienced that. They would say harsh or bad words because they're so affected by what's happening with the story, with your drama. Because you have such an angelic face. Yeah. And for you to portray a contra be the role. That's amazing. I, I think that's the, the beauty of it because you don't expect that face to do such a bad thing, right? That right. all the more it makes it more effective, I guess. It's so amazing because you started acting at the age of three. Yes, yes, that's right. Uh, but um, that was just a little bit of everything when I started. Um, serious work, I probably came around when I was 13. Because when I was three, it was like just like, um, okay, you do this. I, I couldn't understand anything. I would just look at my co-actors and if I see them crying, I would cry automatically. I'm the kind of actor that goes with what I feel during that exact moment. That's that's my personal preference. Speaking of crying, you said the last time you cried was a few weeks ago. Was that related to work? Yes and yes and no. Probably because of um, you know some excitement and confusion <laughs> yeah. of uh, everything new, and also here in the Philippines, uh, ECQ was announced, and you know it's really hard as a parent because you get to have the semblance of normalcy for a while, and then all of a sudden, boom, it's ECQ again. You cannot go out. You're not allowed to do things and stuff, and the paranoia of you know opening social media. I have to say, I like your shirt. Oh, thank you. Oh, and it's just funny. It just reminded me of your your response to assumptions about you. You said mat maltaray, but then yes, which, yes, you're actually funny. Okay. Yes, not a lot of people know that. Why do you say you're funny? Um, I I think because of most of the roles that I did before are are are, are either serious or contra vida or always crying and stuff like that. So, parang people would always mistake that. When they get to meet me, parang, Uy, that's from Shine Dizon. Parang, they have that, I don't know, I, I just don't get it. But when they get to know me personally, oh, she's very funny, she's um, easy to get along with, she's not that serious, she knows how to have fun and laugh at herself, things like that. Like yeah. girl power and your response to girl power, can you remind us again? I, I, I said um, my my sisters, Isa Calzado, Karel, and uh, Diana Subiri. When girl power is said, it's it's always the three of them that comes to mind. Because that is our passion. And um, we came up with our own production, which is Sangre Productions. And um, we, we are hoping to churn out projects that uh, says a lot about uh, women empowerment and uh, for us to uh, create stories and projects that mirrors what 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 is happening to a real woman mm -hmm. and um, for our voices to also be heard. Oh my goodness, the content that you put out there would blow people's minds. 
Yo, can I just ask one more thing? Um, about if you could turn back time, what you would do? Uh, finish college because I was oh. not able to. I was not able to finish college, and especially uh, now during pandemic entertainment industry itself, there is no guarantees whatsoever because work has to stop sometimes because of the 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 protocols. You get to think of like what if, right? Um, if I finish college, I could have gone to my dad, work abroad, and and things like that. So, but hopefully, I I still get to. F- finish that dream of mine eventually. What were you studying? I was taking up business management when I stopped, uh, but I switched to taking up culinary. Hopefully, hopefully, um, when everything settles down, I would really want to go into um, film. Yes, since you're already a producer, right? Mm-hmm. A director, so. <laughs> the limit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think we should get uh, the message across that you're never too old for anything. It's really up to you. As long as you have the means and uh, that is something that you want to do, go for it. It's only us who limits ourselves. I love, love, love that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, Sunshine, thank you so much for being with us today. We absolutely loved you being here. Yes. Thank you, Gia. Thank you, Camille. And thank you for, uh, thank you everyone for watching uh, Gito. Well, you know, congratulations on your move to, to the network. That's exciting. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's very exciting. Um, uh, there's a new project coming up entitled Marry Me and Marry You. Sunshine, in the short amount of time getting to know you, you sh- you showed us a strong side of you and, um, and an encouraging side for young women everywhere to know that, you know, whatever you want to do in life, it's never too late. And I, I appreciate how you weren't afraid to show your emotions and tell us some of your stories of um, you being independent and, you know, for women to believe in themselves. Thank you. Thank you for having me. And we leave you with this quote by W.E.B. Du Bois. There is no force equal to a woman determined to rise. Thanks for watching.